Oh, you're starting recording. Thank you very much to Kadir for stepping in and, and starting recording this. We hope that um, this meeting is going to be uh, public. Um, so we changed the time. Uh, now we're starting one hour uh, sooner, which we, we hope that's going to make it easier for people in Europe and in India and in the you know eastern part of the world to join our meetings. So please uh, feel welcome to, to come here. It's going to be a little bit earlier for people in the western parts of the world, but we hope that we still can get a lot of people here. Um, so let me see. Let's start the meeting today. Um, we have the previous action items from last week. The first one was for me and for Jan. I have to say that um, because of travel and the explosion in my inbox, I couldn't get that done. So I'm going to move it for next week. Sorry about that. Uh, but I'm putting that on our action items for next week. The second action item, um, uh, the reports. Um, so we have a couple of meetings that were going on uh, in the past uh, weeks. We had the staff meetup last week, uh, no, two weeks ago, the Mozilla Espano meetup and the Brazil meetup. Um, I wasn't able to attend last week's community call. Did you have that call or at the, it was canceled, right? The last week, this meeting was was cancelled. Yes. What was cancelled? Uh, so I think that there's a lot of, of things that 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 we need to update uh, the community on. I think that there are many threads on the on the forums, um, but maybe we should recap the meeting. Um, so the 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 paid staff met in San Francisco two weeks ago, uh, and we have a very intense week uh, going through all the different projects and trying to figure out how to make uh, Sumo uh, work better. Um, I don't know if any of you would like to start with important, you know, takeaways from that from that meeting, or if there's a a, a forum post or a blog post that you would like to uh, point people to. Well, uh, I, I can go first. I I didn't prepare anything for for this meeting, and I haven't I haven't been writing a blog post to sort of recap what we did, but uh, just kind of. At the top of my head, I think one of the main things that we were trying to do is, is um, we were experimenting with a few few things, and one of the things that we were, were trying hard to do a better job of is to ensure that everyone is coordinated and uh, that we can certainly right now when we have Firefox OS you know just around the corner, it's really important that everyone is focused and knows what to do. And the other cool thing that we tried was uh, we invited one of our non-paid Contributors, uh, Jacher2000. I don't know if he's comfortable sharing his uh, actual name, so let's just call him by his nickname. But that was pretty awesome. I think that that was was a really really helpful and interesting thing f for us to try. I think I, I probably can speak for everyone, but I was certainly uh, you know humbled by his by his presence. And also, I was pretty damn impressed with all the tools that he had established for for optimizing you know the workflow in the in the forum. Like, you know, gave us a lot of food for thought on things that we can improve um, in the current workflow. So, I think we ended that day in in particular with uh, a, a long list of things that we could improve in our tools as a result of that. So that's something that I would certainly like to try again. Of course, it's hard to send people from all around the world to attend since this is based in San Francisco, and we were lucky with Jay Sher because he's um, he's based in uh, the Bay Area. So. So that was that was why we were able to invite him. But uh, but moving forward, we might be able to invite other people too. Um, um, and so that's something that we, we probably should keep keep looking for for the next work week. I think. Right. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't know if you have any other comments uh, on Jaysher. Uh, like personally, I think that it was one of the you know, one of the, the time spent with him was really incredibly helpful. It's it's amazing to yeah. to see how our contributors like he has this whole script, you know, to go through the support forum and you know he's very very good at you know like resolving issues like on the one side the technical side. So it's it's very nice to see how he like gets his work organized in that way. But on the other side, you know, he's he's very very sensitive and he knows how to talk to people, which um, I personally thought was very enlightening. So 
Yeah. Um, it, yeah. For, for I mean, like it, it was our pleasure for the staff me, uh, to, uh, to meet him, but I he has so many things, uh, you know, to to actually to contribute to Sumo. So um, I think that Madalena probably next week when she's back, uh, she will have a lot more to say about it. Maybe she can work with him on a blog post trying to like get all of that knowledge and, and put it out there for the rest of the contributors. Um, but you know, like from the Sumo team, like Jay Shirt, thanks a lot for joining us. It was like really uh, very useful. Um, and absolutely, you know, if we can, we're, we're going to try to contribute, you know, uh, we're going to try to get more contributors to meet us in person because we see that, you know, there's a lot of value like meeting uh, such experienced contributors and, and it's awesome. So anyone, uh, if you want to get great tips on, on, on how to, on how to, you know, go to the support forums, how to organize your work or how to approach people that are angry and want need help. Um, you know, probably Jay sure is a good person to ask because he's very, uh, you know, very experienced and, you know, he's, he's very knowledgeable. So, yeah, and know, that, that. Re related to that, uh, and, and, and Jay share 2000, if you're, um, if you're watching this recording at some point, uh, you're officially on the hook here, but, but I, I, I think that Michael and, and Jay Sher was going to record a video together. I know that that didn't happen because of the timing. The time, you know, there was just not enough time. But uh, I think that that would still be an awesome thing that, that I'd like to see. Like, just try to capture some of the, the, uh, some of the awesome techniques that he's using. Also, you know, both in terms of how to ha work with people. This guy really knows how to do that. But, but also, like, the, all the tools and the ways he sort of streamlined the... The, the workflow for the forum. I think that that would be great. So I, 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 I count on that to still happen. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But, but uh, here's, here's me sort of hoping uh, that it will happen because I think it would be awesome. So yeah, like Rosanna says, thanks. It was great to have you uh, at this work week. Yeah, it really very, very, very enlightening. I, I just, I just uh, add that to the, to the action items, David, uh, so that we can Michael and yeah, Jay Shirt. So yeah, Perfect. absolutely very, very, very enlightening. And as I as I said, like feel free to, to ping him and ask him about his magic script. It's really awesome. Like for us in terms of, you know, like we think a lot about how can we make this better and how can we make, make this easier. And he figured it out, you know, like how to make to use, you know, how to make our support form like easier to use. So it's very very nice. Ask him for his script in, if you're interested. Um, so that, that was definitely uh, great. Um, we also had the Mozilla Spano meetup. Um, I saved some time for talking about it on the community updates. Um, so I'm going to keep on with the agenda, the Mozilla, the Brazil meetup, and the, um, there's also a Polish meetup that happened um, this weekend. Both meetups, uh, uh, Ralph was at the Brazilian meetup and Melina was at the Polish meetup. I'm going to put them as action items for next week since they're both not here, but you're going to listen from those two communities uh, next week. So um, writing that down. Um, there was also an action item Firefox 20 post to contribute forum for desktop and Android. Um, I don't understand very well uh, what that action item was about. Can someone maybe help me here? That was probably Anyone an idea what was what what that the, meant? It's probably an action item to post uh, in the contributor forums about the okay. release that we had last week, and I did that. So perfect. Good. Um, so I'm I'm putting that also down. Um, and we will have some more updates next week. Um, so let's continue with the. So let's go on with the um, with the agenda. How about the Sumo development update? Um, Kadir, Ricky, I don't know which one of you wants to take this. Uh, so I added a couple of things in uh, there that I think are super important. Uh, last Friday, we created a new 404 page. And you can see it. And it's inspired by Rosanna's little Lego Sumo Warrior that we took a picture of at the uh, at the Mozilla at, in Peru at the Mozilla Hispano Meetup work week. Um, the other issue that's super important that we fixed is the password reset issue because people were bugging in the forums all the time and we found that it was a stupid bug. Um, yeah, I... 
some changes that will happen in when we upgrade it to Django to the latest Django. Uh, and so we fixed that. And then uh, the rest is uh, the, the, the roadmap stuff. We're working on HTML emails to make emails a lot better, more useful, prettier, etc. And the rest of the stuff, Kadir, you want to go through our stuff? Uh, yes, well, it was, uh, you know, some of those things we do Friday on Fridays, uh, when we're, bo we're kind of bored. Um, I asked, uh, uh, I guess contributor, uh, another, um, what the, what another person in web dev, um, and the piranha to, to create, to design a, a new 404 page for us. And then she asked for a mascot and then I gave her this image and then she created that. So, so I guess a collaboration. Um, um, also, New Geller took the picture, and I guess Rosanna is, came up with that Lego thing. I don't know where. This is original New Geller art? Yes. Yeah. We, we need to send that guy a humidor or something to thank him. We need to send him a yeah. Lego, Ricky, uh, a sumo Lego. You, you were the one who, who brought the camera. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, I, it's I, a big I chain the camera. of people collaborating, like everything in, at Mozilla. <laughs> Would it be possible? Is, here's just a, an open idea, but would it be possible to just automatically search for whatever is after the slash? Like, let's say someone wants to try to go to an article and he types the URL support them as another org slash kb slash what the fuck is this? Oh, sorry, uh, what the hell <laughs> heck is this about? Jesus, <laughs> this is recorded. So, uh, so I, I think. Um... Uh, if it's a type, like, I think we, we should do something like that for KB. Like if they go to the wrong KB place and have like, did you mean this or this? Yeah. We, we should think about that. Anyway, no, how like try to, spe try to spell check it or something, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. File a bug and a pull request and, and I'll merge it. <laughs> I'm, I might. <laughs>
Thumbs up. Thanks so. Great. Sounds good. Any questions or? Okay, so um, as, I, as I told you, I can't see if we have any other uh, contributors joining our call from here, but um, if you have any questions, let us know. You can also post questions if you are just watching on Pound Sumo and we'll get to them. Yeah, but we have no, no other. Uh, no one else. Okay, I, I, I think that uh, Yalam96 might be joining us a, a bit later. Um, let's see if, it, if he makes it. Um, okay. So let's go to the round table. Uh, Firefox desktop, I think that's on you, right, Tyler? Yeah, I can take it. Uh, we don't really have anything major uh, right now. Later this week, we're going to be releasing a 2001 uh, to fix an issue with the address bar not working and uh, enterprise rollouts that have redirected folders uh, for desktop. Um, and I don't think we're releasing anything else uh, this week, so it'll be pretty quiet as long as we don't get any more issues. Okay, that, that sounds good. I mean, no issues. Is <laughs> it's always good, right? <laughs> cool. I mean, that sounds really good. Um, Firefox Android, it seems to be no updates, Tyler, right? Yep. Firefox for Android is all smooth sailing from here. Um, we had 20 last week, and that was a smooth release. Um, our star rating went up, and users seem to be happy. The only issue is the removal of the quit button. Uh, we have an article that uh, I believe Roland wrote up. We have an add-on to correct that as well. So. And I believe that the the sadness around the quit button is finite, at least. Cool. Okay. That sounds good. Um, any questions? Otherwise, Firefox OS and Thunderbird, I think that we unfortunately don't have Michelle and Roland with us today. It could be that the whole, you know, time zone and the change of the meeting kind of confused them. So, you know, we hope that we get those updates next week. So well, I yeah, and, and also we can um, add as an action item for, for Michelle and Roland to fill out those status updates uh, after this meeting. So people can at least take a look at the, the etherpad and see whatever is relevant for, for people to know. Perfect. Sounds a very good idea. And then, um, if you don't have anything on that, uh, we can move on to metrics. Um, Kadir, you want to take that?
Are you taking recording that yourself, Kadir? Okay, so you're going to look into the helpful votes. Um, is there any questions we could move to the community update? Um, I, I have Yala96 might be joining us. As I told you, he's, I think he's trying to connect uh, with video. Let's see if he can make it. Um, he can talk a little bit about the budget program, but before let's talk a bit about the Mozilla Hispano community meetup. Um, so I went to Lima last week. Uh, it was a three-day meetup, which was great to, to have a lot of time to talk to, to the Mozilla Hispano community. They're awesome. They're really they're making a fantastic job. Um, they don't use our forums, but they're very active in their forums. And um, you know, uh, one of the highlights uh, for me, at least, you know, where I was very happy. They worked very hard towards getting 100% uh, uh, localization rate uh, for the meetup. So they had every single Sumo article translated for that meetup. So thumbs up. It was great job to the, to the whole Mozilla Hispano localization team. It was yes. really, really nice. And by the way, um, I think uh, Ricky just left us, um, but um, Pedro, uh, who's is, uh, Breaking Pit, is his uh, uh, nickname, uh, his username at Sumo. He was really after it, and he found a couple of bugs uh, so that Ricky could fix them. So really, it was like they were really after it, and they made it. They nailed it. So that was really awesome. I'm gonna try to put all together and, and write a, a, a more juicy blog post with a little bit more of details, also with photos, because we had the sumo prizes. Um, I, I we thought that you know like having the chance to meet the, the contributors from the very active Mozilla Spanish community was a great uh, opportunity. Um, to reward them, so we had the little Lego warriors, and, and we gave it to our more active contributors. So it was really, it was really nice uh, uh, getting the feedback and you know, like giving them the, the appreciation. Um, this also means, I mean, it's not only the Mozilla Spanish community. We have uh, other communities that are very, very active, and we would love to meet you all and give you the Sumo Prize personally. If we can't make it, we're going to try to make it by 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 post. But um, you know, this is just an example of a very very good organized and and you know an awesome community. Um, so that was wonderful. Um, you know, a highlight is that you know we have um, Antonio. His uh, username is Noctuido. He's not very active with us at Sumo because he speaks uh, mainly Spanish, and that's you know the language that you know he's comfortable in. But he is like ex extremely awesome like if you happen to understand Spanish you should definitely check out his blog it's really great with lots of tips and tricks about Firefox and you know support things um, and he like he was amazing he did like three sessions about support uh, with most you know supporting uh, Firefox so he really he nailed it and he was like one of the rock stars of the Mozilla Spanish work week and it was all about support so really really awesome like everyone was very happy with him we had like afterwards they were all saying like oh, who was a rock star and he's definitely a rock star within Mozilla Spano and so so that that's really awesome um something else that we need to talk about is like the Mozilla Spano team also they have a labs project and they worked on ask sumo this uh, tab that you have on Facebook and that was translated by a lot of other communities. Um, so, you know, thumbs up also for that. Really very positive um, immediate. Uh, we also talk a little bit about like real work. <laughs> um, and, you know, we talked about um, localization this time, you know, last year we had a lot of, um, you know, feedback like, oh, you know, the tools aren't good. We fixed them and they seem to be much better right now. Um, so, you know, thanks a lot, for, you know, to the Sumo Dev team, you know, that make it happen that we have better tools right now. We're going to talk a little bit more about coordination uh, in LTNN, uh, but I'll follow up with some details in the blog post. Um, questions, please, David. Yeah, I'm curious. Uh, did did you were they giving any feedback on the tools, positive or negative? Like, I, because I know the last time they they there was a lot of discussion about the tools that needed to be improved. And we made a we made some significant improvements. So I'm just curious to see if they did they sort of recognize that or or were are they happy with it? Yes. Or did, so, you, or, or did you guys just not talk about it? So, so they were talking about the MDN tools, and they were saying, why doesn't MDN use our tools? So basically, they're saying uh, we have the best tools. There you go. Yeah. Yay. OK, yeah. good. 
I just Check wanted to, to the verify. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were really like asking us, yeah, to give them the tools. So really, uh, really, it was, it was it was very nice. Like I'm I'm sure that I'm missing here some bits uh, of information, but you know, in general, it was like. Uh, amazing it's it's incredible to see this community three days you know everyone had their easter holiday and they all went there and we were you know in this meeting room and working all day long uh, so it was amazing to see that kind of passion and energy it was very positive so thanks a lot and you know it, it was really really great and and you know I Muchas think that, gracias. yeah that's it and sumo was in a great position so <laughs> that's you know, it there's one thing, uh, may maybe this is something interesting. If you happen to be a bilingual contributor, that means you speak Spanish and English, we need your help. Um, there's a lot of knowledge, you know, in the Spanish speaking community. And, um, you know, sometimes we can't transfer that knowledge because of the language barrier. Um, so if you're interested in helping um, and, you know, like getting, for instance, like uh, Nofluido has a lot of issues and he would like to give them as fast as possible to the Sumo team. So maybe Tyler would be his contact person, uh, but the language barrier could be a problem. So if you happen to be bilingual, you know, and want to help, let us know. Uh, that, that would be very interesting to get the, the knowledge that's there in Spanish to bring it back to Sumo. So it's not only Sumo in English getting things out, but it's also everyone getting the things into Sumo. So we can think about um, ways of doing this. But yeah, that, that was pretty much uh, what happened uh, in Lima. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm going to try to follow up with a post with more um, details. And um, if you want to know some more about, you know, who are, you know, who, who are the ones that are doing support there. And if you want to know a little bit, for instance, about social media, we have Kusai, who is the responsible for support. He's great on social media. Uh, let me know and I'll can, I can connect you to, uh, to everyone there. So that's it. I thought that was a little bit long, but yeah, I was very excited to, to meet them and it was very, um, it was a lot of energy. Um, and right now, uh, if you don't have any more questions, um, I would move to the body program. Um, Yalam, uh, are you, are you with us? Are you online right now? I'm, I'm sorry, I can't see the participants yeah, list. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Great. I think, I think you're a little, can you hear him well? No, you're a little bit quiet, if it's possible to. Crank up the volume of the microphone. That would help. Now is it any better? Um, it's it's slightly quiet. better, but um, if you're using video, you see this microphone icon in the yeah, toolbar. Uh, you can, yeah, and you can click that down arrow, and you can crank it up to the top. Yeah, it's all right. It's all. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we don't want to make you scream. <laughs> Yeah, that would be the, the fallback. So, be yeah, well, you figure out the, the microphone. That's, that's better. Good. Yeah, it's getting better. So, um, uh, uh, Yusuf, would you like to introduce yourself or should I give a brief uh, introduction? Um, I, think, I think you can do that. I'm not very good with introductions. Okay, I, I, I'll take it. So, uh, this is Yusuf. Yusuf, has, uh, he joined us after the Mozilla Festival, right? So, you know, um, you know, a couple of months ago. Um, but he has helped us a lot with the body program. Um, um, you know, we, we built all this program and he had great ideas. He set up the form. Uh, we have a spreadsheet where we, we track all the people joining the program. And, uh, and right now he's coordinating pretty much uh, all the bodies. So um, I thought that it would be great if you could, you know, you know, it would be great for the team to meet you and everyone else in the community to see you. And you can give us a little update on how that's going. Um, okay, so we've started the pilot about two or three weeks ago. That's been going really well. We have, I believe it is, four, three or four bodies and about five or six newbies, which is what we call them, their new contributors. And it's been going really well. I've, taught, I've been talking to a few of the new contributors. It's pretty, they're getting the hang of sumo, what I think far quicker than I did, which was really wrong. And um, there are a few things we can work on. We've got that set for the meeting on Friday. Um, things like just organizational stuff, like getting buddies to um, use their use the tools that we give them a bit more, because I find that they're go going off on their own um, and just not like reporting back, which isn't great. Um, pairing newbies and buddies is some 
something that we can work on because currently I'm just I'm just pairing them myself, but there is improvement there. And um, getting buddies to communicate with each other with each other that's a big one because I mean everyone can help each other, so that's something we can work on as well. So that's pretty much it. It's been going great. Yeah, it's uh, it's also like it's great to see that this this program is also coming from the community. Uh, so it's like you know we we've, we've worked together, right? Just a few. Andrew has helped us a lot, uh, Jay, and you know, there's always people yeah. coming into those meetings. So you know, it's really yeah. nice to see that this program is coming from the community. That you're also, uh, you know, like coordinating, uh, uh, like many things. So you know, thanks a lot. We have another meeting on Friday, and everyone's yeah. welcome to join us. Any questions from? I don't know if you have some questions. I just wanted to say thanks. Thanks for your work. I think that it's really important. And uh, it's, I'm glad to hear that, you know, we're making making progress. I, I was wondering, are you on RSC? I, I couldn't find you on in Pound Super. Um, Yeah, my nickname is Yaga96. Probably at the bottom of your list. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I, did, I did actually yeah. see you. It's just that I, 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 didn't, I wasn't sure if I was the same. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah pleased so to meet you. Yeah. You see. Yeah, so that's what I thought, you know, you just have to, you've been doing a great job and, you know, it's, it's time for the team to meet you. And any one of the other helpers here, the, the buddies, you're welcome to join us and, you know, the team would love to meet you all. So it's really, it's great having you here. And for the newbies too, I mean, join us, join our, our meetings. Um, now that would change the time. We hope it's going to, you know, work for a lot of more people. So, yeah. Join us on Friday. Thanks, Yusuf, uh, uh, for the update. Uh, and anyone else, you know, if you have any questions, go to our meeting. Ask, you know, Yusuf, um, also known as Yalan96, or me, or Madalena. So that's that's really good. Um, if there's not any questions, I'm gonna move to um, Elton N localization. Um, I had just have a minor update, and that's that. Um, the Mozilla Hispanic community, um, you know, open a conversation of how can we uh, organize our work better and make it more visible. Um, so we're going to possibly start a thread in the forums asking about, you know, how to make our, you know, communication channels even better, um, how to have maybe project pages so that everyone's on board, you know, on board of, you know, what we're doing. So, you know, this time the changes that they requested are more about processes and no, not about tools. So as Ricky said, like we're in a good position there. So that's it's really good. Sign, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyone, and, and this is not only for Mozilla Spanish, like again, um, every other community localizing, uh, you're welcome to join us and to let us know what part of the process is still, you know, uh, you know, has some glitches for you so that we can, uh, you know, progress on that and, 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 ch and change it so that it's much better. Because we have a lot of things coming for Firefox OS, so got to be in a good position. Anyway, um, any questions? Otherwise, I'll move to the knowledge base uh, part. Um, Michael's not here, but um, um, I haven't been taking part very actively in the conversations uh, about the new uh, reviewers' uh, permissions, um, but I've been following it. I'll, I'll, I, I should get back. Um, and I think that there seems to be um, consensus around it that we're gonna change the way the way our permissions work, so that you know, you know, right now it is so that you know you can only you have like almost no rights, or you have like all the rights, like all the keys to the house. And right now we're gonna make it more granular, and we're gonna make it in a way that contributors can, you know, progressively, um, you know, get more permissions as they show their commitment to the to the project, and also have a way of onboarding new contributors. Um, so if you're interested in that conversation that they are going on in the forum, um, I'm very glad to see that um, that, that the idea has, you know, that that, that many contributors find it well. Um, and I'll get start. I'll get started this week creating the groups and figuring out how we uh, put this all together and you know how we make our you know country. You know, it sounds like a little bit more of things to take care of, but I think that uh, ultimately it's going to make us going to put us in the position to grow the community and to give more people more permissions and you know spread out the responsibilities, which is I think great. And speaking of growing the community, actually one thing that we should have talked about at the metrics. Uh, part of this meeting, but I noticed that the Army of Awesome thing is spiking the last week, and I'm not sure what, where that comes from. If that's just coincidental, or if it's because we did something in particular that I'm just forgetting right now. Do we know that? 
Does anyone know? I see. Okay. Great. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm just looking at the number of contributors. It's, it went up from, from uh, like, hundred to hundred and twenty in the last couple of weeks. Right. I mean. You Usually, what yeah, sometimes when we have meetups or moss camps, after that, a lot of people get a lot of energy and get excited. That that could be an explanation, but maybe we can uh, ask Madalina and and see if she has some more insights. But yeah, that's a very good point. Anyway, she just wanted to observe the good news. We don't yeah, need an explanation as long as it's going in the right direction. I don't <laughs> care about the reason. As long as it's good, yeah, right. <laughs> um, yeah, but that that that's great. Um, um, anything I, from the support forum? Unfortunately, Madalina isn't here today, but um, does any of you have any updates on the support forum? Um, or everything's going well there? Yeah, let's just let's add that to the action item. To, if there are any updates, let's put that in the, in the etherpad. Yeah. So, so the other thing that changed is we added the Get Involved pages, and those point you straight to Army of Awesome. Oh, yeah, so that could be a, uh, a that'd be interesting to know though. Like, can we see that in the metrics page, the, the landing page to Army of Awesome? Can we look at the referrers? You can probably look in Google Analytics yeah. or eBay. He's the master. I can do that. <laughs> okay. Okay, but you know, it's cool. okay. <laughs> okay, that 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 looks good. Um, is there anything else you would like to talk about? We have some a couple more minutes. We don't have to use them all, but if there's anything that you know you have on the top of your head, well, it seems to me that everyone's uh, on a happy Monday mood, <laughs> which is great. Um, we have the action items. Um, so uh, I have for Michael, or you know, like to find a way to record these meetings when he's not there. Uh, Kadir, thanks for stepping up and trying that out. I'm, I'm, I, I hope that this is working out. Great, that's awesome. Don't press erase. Uh, press stop and then save. Right. Um, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna talk to, to Jan and and figure out the the, the user story for the file um, history. Um, we have Michael and Jesher to record a video um, or to tell us some give us an update on how that's going or or if there's a plan. And we have uh, for next week we're, we'll we'll pro probably get updates for the Brazil and the Polish meetup, both from you know Ralph and Madlina, so that we can learn a little bit about what's going on in, in those communities. Um, Michelle and Roland, to please fill out the status updates. Um, thanks for <laughs> adding the tweets, uh, David. And in this ether pad. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, yeah, the colors give it away. So, yeah, David is making them uh, polite. <laughs> all, I'm all about uh, politeness. Right. Thanks. No, that's no. It's very important, actually. Um, everyone, if if you see any changes in the charts, let Kadir know because they're working on them. And you know, the earlier uh, the the feedback gets in, the easier it is to fix it. So take a look at that. Um, for Kadir, please look into the spikes on the forum helpful votes um, to see what's going on. And Madalina. Would you be so kind to check the spike in Army of Awesome and uh, to, to update the part of the support form? Thanks, David, for the very polite uh, uh, <laughs> way of saying this. Well, I'm it sounds great. Um, I don't know if you have anything else. Otherwise, uh, um, it was a great meeting. Uh, again, uh, uh, Yusuf, thanks for joining us. It was great having you here. Uh, join us whenever you want, can. And yes, everyone please. Else, please feel welcome to join. Um, or to leave your questions in the etherpad. Um, sometimes if you can't be here, uh, we, we, we go through everything that's written on the etherpad and we try to answer it as best as we can. So uh, keep doing that. And uh, yeah, this Friday buddy meeting if you wanna join us, otherwise I'll see you next Monday, one hour earlier than you know in a couple past months. See you online guys, okay. have see a great week. Bye. Have a great day, rest of the Hi.